celebration of Independence Day is sweeping across one Cobb County community in a very special way. That's right. One of their military neighbors has been deployed in Afghanistan and is returning home just in time for July 4th. So the community made it their mission to make sure he sees, literally sees, mm -hmm. just how thankful they are for his service. CBS 46's Ben Sims is live to show us exactly what all, that all means. And this is really symbolic, Vince. It really is symbolic. You know, we all know the song, tie a yellow ribbon around the old oak tree. Well, in this Cobb County community, they're taking the yellow ribbon mission to the streets to line the way to welcome home their neighbor, who's a soldier. See all the flags for the 4th of July? All the normal symbolic signs of 4th of July celebrations can be seen in the enclave at Oakdale neighborhood. But along with the red, white, and blue, there's something new added in. There are rows of yellow ribbons attached to mailboxes to focus on one special neighbor. Sometimes things just happen by chance, but it seems like the timing of it, you really couldn't have planned it any better. The yellow ribbons are to welcome home David Weaver just in time for the 4th of July. He was deployed with the National Guard to Afghanistan last year, just months after he and his newlywed wife moved into the neighborhood. Their neighbor, Jess Wardell, came up with the ribbon idea she wanted him to know she's thankful for the sacrifices military families make. That is an ultimate sacrifice and you know we don't know all the details of what he was doing but I know like I am allowed to live here with my girls and do what I can because of what he was doing over there. Several other neighbors like Amy Carter joined Jess's platoon to help spread the yellow symbol of support around the neighborhood. If he can feel just a tiny bit of love from the neighborhood, then it makes me feel good that we were able to do that. She hopes this shows her children the path to understand what Independence Day is truly about. I also think it helps teach the kids a little bit about why we celebrate the 4th of July, why there's all these fireworks and, and the colors of America. While David is the one who served overseas and is returning home, the community also shows this support for his wife, who held down the home front. So I'm hoping that she will feel the gratitude because, you know, he sacrificed so much, but so did she, you know, and so we are just so thankful to the Weavers. And they are going to get a good look at those yellow ribbons tomorrow because the children are going to have their own 4th of July parade through the neighborhoods with their decorated bikes, trikes, wagons, and even the big uh, trucks right there, the Jeeps, the power wheel Jeeps are all going to be in that parade, welcoming him back home. Reporting live in Cobb County, I'm Vince Sims, CBS 46 News. Oh, that is precious. That's going to be a lot of fun, Vince. Thank you.